close your eyes and watch your breath. That applies to the little ones too, okay? <laughs> Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Make up your mind you're going to stay here and then stick with it. This principle of sticking with it is a really important part of the practice. Because only when you stick with things do they have a chance to grow. The qualities we're trying to develop in the mind. You can make up your mind for one second that you're going to do it, but then if you leave it for the rest of the day, it doesn't grow very much. You have to be able to carry it through. This is one of the reasons why we take the precepts every week to remind us that this is something we want to carry through all the time. You know, stick with the principle you're not going to kill, s steal, have a less of sex, you're not going to be lying, you're not going to take intoxicants. You have to remind yourself of that because there's so many things outside in the culture outside that would pull you in another direction. But you've got to learn how to stick with it. And so just reminding yourself all the time every, on a regular basis is one important way. But you also have to understand the value of what you're doing. So this all comes under discernment. We always talk about how virtue leads to concentration, concentration leads to discernment. But you've got to use your discernment to come back and train your concentration and your virtue as well. You think about the good that comes when would come in this world if everybody uh, stuck by the precepts. And then you have to say, well, am I going to wait for everybody else to do this? At, least, at the very least, I can make this happen in my own life. And then you have to use the discernment to figure out how to stick with it. When you're really tempted to break a precept, how do you stick with it? What do you, how do you reason with yourself? How do you remind yourself of the long-term consequences of breaking the precept and the long-term benefits of not breaking the precept? This is how you stick with these things. This is important any kind of determination, any kind of vow you might make. This is the time of year when people are making vows and resolutions about how they want to change themselves in the coming year. But an important part of every vow is not just making it, but then sticking with it. All too many vows don't even make it to January 15th, but we want to see if we can make ours last all the way through the year. You've got to learn how to talk to yourself, reason with yourself, figure out your mind's weaknesses, and learn how to overcome them. That's that way you stick with the precepts. That's why you stick with the concentration. That's why you stick with every aspect of the practice. If you look at your five precepts and see that they're okay, then you might want to move on to the four, which may sound strange, but that's four virtues that the Buddha talks about. The first one is just this, sticking with the five precepts. Then there's the virtue of sense restraint. Then there's the virtue of right livelihood, purity of your livelihood. And then there's the, right, then the virtue of contemplating the requisites. In other words, every time you use food, clothing, shelter, and medicine, think about why you're using these things so you don't use them excessively, and you don't get stuck on the pleasures that come from these things. This takes the pra practice of virtue to a higher level. So wherever you see that you're lacking some place in your virtue, or there's more virtue that you can work on, okay, this is the opportunity. You've got a whole year, we hope. We hope that all of us have a good year. Well, to, what makes it a good year is not so much whether you live to the end of the year, but whether the, the amount of time you have is spent well. You make the right decisions in what you do and you say and you think. So take this opportunity to look at your, your actions, look at your words, look at your thoughts, and see whether going outside of the bounds of what's proper, going outside the bounds of what's skillful, and use your discernment to bring things back in line.